Songkran Festival is one of the most exciting festivals in Thailand, full of joys and happiness. I was playing it since I was a kid until now. I love this festival so much. And the most exciting part is it's coming up next week. And this video is everything that you should know about this festival, what to do, what to not do, where to play. And even though you're not coming this year, I recommend watching this video so you can plan your trip, book your ticket and come to celebrate with us next year. Welcome back to Friends from Thailand and today you're with me Bam Bam and I'm wearing this flower t-shirt because Songkran Festival is coming up soon and I'm so excited. Just getting into April just makes me happy. Some of you guys may already know what Songkran Festival is and you guys intend to come and celebrate here but some of you guys may not know what it is so I'm gonna give you a quick introduction of what Songkran Festival is. Songkran Festival is Thailand's traditional New Year and we celebrate it on the 13, 14 and 15 April of every year. But in some provinces out of Bangkok, they play it further. So if you guys are interested in playing it longer, you guys may have to look it up because I didn't bring all the information because if I say it all, it's going to be too long for this video. But in this festival, people go back to see the families pay respect and then ask for blessings for the family on the Thailand New Year and we express our blessings through water. We sprinkle water with Buddha pictures, Buddha statues and all the people and the best part is the water fight with strangers. What to do? The most important thing is get a waterproof bag please because this festival is very wild and there's splashing water everywhere you're gonna get so wet so keep all your belongings in a waterproof bag your phone your wallet your credit card cash everything keep it in a waterproof bag if you're planning to play from the afternoon till late night make sure to wear something that is very easy to dry because you're gonna get soaking wet the whole day you can even wear something like me a flower shirt they are very famous and they are easy to dry and you can even get them in a market close by to you for a cheap price. The streets are going to get very wet so make sure to wear rubber shoes or something that hooks up onto the road because it's going to get slippery. So don't wear fashion shoes or beauty shoes because that's very dangerous. I see a lot of news during some grand day that people get stuck in their own shoes and have to have police come to help them so be aware of that. Aside from water guns, Thai people also play clay powder and then we put it on our faces, each other's faces like this and sometimes people miss it and it gets into your eye and it may be irritating and burning so you can prevent yourself by wearing glasses it can be any glasses, sunglasses, some grand glasses wearing a cap can also help or you can wear a helmet and protect it all <laughs> no I'm kidding and the most important thing is to travel light you don't even have to bring your whole wallet or your credit card because if you go playing on the streets they don't even have a credit card machine so bring what's important for you maybe your phone, enough cash for the day, your hotel keys put it in a waterproof bag and just hang it on your neck and that can prevent it from being stolen or you lose it yourself and a friendly reminder from friends from Thailand because we care for you is be aware for your safety because Songkran festival is wild and crazy and it is involved with drinking and alcohol so if you don't want to get in a serious accident be aware and all that was the things that you should do and here is the don't don't splash water on monks little babies and especially people riding their motorcycles and this one is very serious because this can be a big accident he can fall down from his motorcycle a car can just drive over him and he can die and the death rate in thailand during some grand festival is very high and i think you guys won't want to be the one that's causing it so be careful and another important reminder of what not to do during some grand festival is how to dress Actually, we already talked about how to dress and in Thailand, we don't have a dress code during this festival. But if you guys want to wear like a tiny bikini with a small stripe, something like this, think twice because it's going to be crowded. 
people are gonna walk, 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 and if you get splashed with a big bucket of water, you may look down and then everything is just disappeared. So, I don't know, things gonna get ugly or sexy, it's up to you. I know you guys wanna get sexy, I wanna get sexy too, but think again. There are some more things about what not to do during some grand festival, but I'm just gonna wrap it up right here. So don't throw ice water into other people. I know that it's hot, but it's not appropriate to throw ice into someone else, so don't do it. And don't use high pressure machines as your water guns because you might hurt somebody else, they might get mad, and you will get into a big trouble. And a friendly reminder from friends from Thailand is, I know you guys are coming here to have fun, to party and get wild, but be aware of your limit of drinking because you won't want to get into a serious accident or a serious crime. All right, here comes the fun part, is where to experience the best water fight in Bangkok. Actually, some grand can be played anywhere. People play it in front of the house, in the streets, in the small alleys. You can even play it in front of your hotel, but they're all popular places that people come to gather up, have a good time with live music, parades, and street food. So this is the list of the research we made for Songkran 2024 because different year they have different events. So if you want to show your appreciation, please press like to this video. Let's start with a common one, Khao San Road. So you guys might know that this street is popular for backpackers, but if you come here during Songkran festival, this place can also get super wild too. But you can find equipment for Songkran selling here, you can find street food, and playing some grand here is like bar hopping because as you walk along the streets, you can find different music from different bars and the first thing that you can expect here is loud music. But here, it's mixed between tourists and locals and the street is not that big and I don't know what time it's gonna get busy, but if it does, I can tell you guys that you don't even have space to move. So. Try to avoid coming here during peak hours and if you see a crowd coming up, you can always just move to a different place that we're gonna tell you later. Unlike Khao San Road, there is another famous spot called Silom area located just right under BTS Sala Dang Station and here it's less touristy, less crowded, wider and a more open space and if you come here, you won't get the bar hopping vibe like Khao San because they close all the streets especially for this water festival and Silom Road is well known for LGBTQ and if you come here, you will see sexy workout men in tank tops and they are really friendly people. I like Silo more than Khao San and always recommend my friends to come here. And the next three is gonna be more interesting. If you're looking for something local, for something more trendy, and teenagers seem to be going here a lot this year, that is Central World, Siam Square, and Sam Yan Mid Town. So these three places, they don't just have the water festival, but they have a food festival, a concert, and an exhibition. And since it is a private property, I think it is going to be more organized like security and bathroom for example. I have not been there myself because they just did a big promo this year. But since it is in downtown Bangkok, it's not hard for you to get there at all. And I think it's a good option for you to explore there by yourself. All of the places that we mentioned are held during morning till late night. But I can tell you guys that in the afternoon, people don't really come out to play because it's super hot. Thailand is in the summer in case you guys don't realize. People come out to play during the evening time. But you guys have another option if you guys want a full party. You can also join an event which is held during the night time. It is a full party with a DJ, with drinks but you have to buy tickets. We also have examples like this. In Bangkok, I found two events, but in different cities like Pattaya, Phuket, or Chiang Mai, they also have their own events, but in Bangkok, the first one is Sayam Songkran Music Festival, and the second one is S2O Songkran Music Festival. All of these two seem to be similar and are held in the similar place which is RCA but actually they are different. You would have to look it up and these places have a ticket price. I'm not sure what the ticket price is because I've never been to something like this too but if you guys are interested, you can just look up the name.
All right, that is it for today's video. I've been filming this for about six hours and another day researching all of these information but that's not a big deal because we are your local friends from thailand we want to give you as much information as you need to make your trip to thailand even better and if you guys think that this video is helpful don't forget to comment it down below recommend friends from thailand channel to your friends and to all of you guys who are coming to songkran this year i hope you guys have fun and have the best experience ever I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.